you could have tried Look, again. Vi, Vi. I study some more. I go back. I'm outside the room where many Swiss ask questions. Walking up and down, up and down, seeing answers to myself. And everything is fine. And then they call my name and suddenly I begin to shake and everything get mixed up. And now it's George Lincoln, Abraham Philadelphia and Benjamin Declaration. I go home and never come back. That's where I am still currently. You were just nervous. I bet I could make you pass that test. How? By coaching you, by going to the examiner with you and not letting you get scared. You would do such a thing. Of course I would. Oh, you are a real friend. Please, don't tell Georgi. I won't have that he shall be frightened by examination. I promise I won't. Thank you. You better come in. Western Union called again. Now come. You see. I just received a telegram from Pittsburgh. Chakra Babuzzi. Alus Vete la di. Chakra Babuzzi is dead today, not married. Sorry, I was thinking of wedding. Meeting to talk about our friend Georgi Papashvili. It's very serious. What is happening to Georgi? He's sick. I take care of him. I was nurse to my husband for two years before he died. Sit down. That's not that kind of sickness. That's here. And who is he enjoying this sickness with? Helen. That is bad. Bad. Better he was in love with Georgian lady, like Madame Grishiani. Oh, no. Madame Grishiani is too old. <gasps> Dariel, how can you say such thing? She is cousin of my uncle. So he is your flesh and blood. So my own husband would say a thing. You think she is too old? Oh, no. Just think Georgi is too young. <laughs> Anna is right. Should be Georgian lady. Now I have here in Cleveland, Ohio, a Georgian girl by the name Pilana Gazuri. Daughter of Datiko. She's young, beautiful, is very good cook, and... What's wrong with American lady? American ladies are wrong in three places. First place, American ladies don't like to have foreigner names. I know a Georgian man by the name of Tex Walashvili who married an American girl. She makes him go into court and change his name to Thomas Dewey. In election, Thomas Dewey don't win. Uh-huh. How do you think he feels then, this Georgian fellow? And after Dewey lose twice, he changed name back to Peck Schwalesvili. And what do you think it does to my record book? Second place, American ladies cook only from book. Book gets lost husband starve. Helen is very good cook. Hmm. And I will teach her Georgian dishes. Third place is Bob Gets. Bob Gets? Bob Gets means writing money down before you are spending. Mama, you mean budgets. Bob gets is this. If tomorrow Georgi is wanting to drink glass of wine, yesterday he has to write in book, I am drinking wine, 25 cents. Wait a minute. I find here another Georgian girl in Denver. Make very good wife. Come from beautiful family. Is 26 years old and the best cook in the whole book. But he loves. Helen, he don't love good cook in Denver. But how does he know? He has never seen her. Yori. Yes, Uncle John. Come in. But I was going out. First you are coming in. Good evening. Uh, all your friends here have talked about you and reached important decision. I have not reached. 
do not interrupt. We decided you should engage yourself to Helen. Quick, tonight. Uncle John would like very much to engage myself, but I think he's too fast. Georgi, in USA, everything is fast. Lady and gentlemen meet on Saturday. If date on Sunday, marry Monday. Oh, but Helen is not such a person. Oh, so now you're expert, eh? Believe me, if there is one thing I know all about, is American women. Show you where you're over 100% wrong. Helen hasn't seen you lately, huh? Tonight she sees me. What happened the last three times you asked her for dinner? She was busy. And why was she busy? Because you never once say something romantic to her. She's not a girl from school. She's at the age where she's looking for a husband. Unless you say something to her quick, she'll find some other man who will. But how can I ask Helen to marry me? I have nothing. Can't is she a queen in a castle with a million dollars? No. She's an ordinary girl who works in court on a machine. And you are an ordinary man who works making box lunches. So you marry. I would like very much, Uncle John, but I don't Enough think... Enough talk. You like, we like, it's finished. Now go. And when you are engaged, come back with Helen. And I will cook big banquet for celebration. But go. Now everybody in kitchen, we make banquet. Oh, hello, oh, George. Helen, Come I... in. I was going to call you, but I've been busy talking to every airline in town. Well, Helen, what... My aunt phoned about an hour ago. My grandmother just had a stroke. Oh, that's... I've got a seat on a plane. I've got to hurry. I've only got 45 minutes. Helen, I'm awful sorry. Oh, even though she's 76, and you know it's got to happen someday. Still, when it does, it's... She and I have been awfully close. My parents died when I was a kid. She raised me. I hope when you get there, she is much better. Well, the doctors don't promise much. Is there anything I can do to help you get ready? No, I'm all packed. I was just waiting for you. Let me see, Mrs. Parker, clean out the icebox and turn off the gas. Will she water the ivy? Oh, she might not. Would you take care of it for me, dear? I wouldn't want it to die. I take good care. I hate to go, but if I don't, I'll never make it. You don't want to leave? I never thought I'd mind. I suddenly find out I do. I guess when you get attached to a place and certain people, you... Well, here, I'll take this. You'll carry the suitcases. Oh, you got everything? I think so. Would you like for me to come to plane with you? I'd love it, George, but there won't be a minute to spare, and then you'd have that long trip back from LaGuardia. And after all, I'll be back soon. How long are you going to be gone? Well, it all depends, of course, but I should guess about two weeks. Well, goodbye, George. Take good care of yourself. LaGuardia, please.
have the charge of Billy for Mr. Spencer? Now, remember, he likes just a touch of garlic. Oh, no, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. I'm glad you quit box lunch business. You are the best vegetable man I ever see. I have to quit. It's only fair. Chancho was not getting money's worth from me. He got too many things on my mind. Georgi, I must give you advice. Helen said she will be away for two weeks. All right, now we are two months. But you got to stop acting so. You are like luck without taking it. But let us say she don't know when she is coming back now. Maybe not for a long time. Grandmother is not better, is not worse. Well, it's only one thing to do. We go to California. I got money saved up. Thank you, but could not let you do it. If you don't get a job, is one thing, but you got a good job here. Good job. said just a touch of garlic. That's how I made Chakoch Billy. Since you don't like, I quit. Now I have no more job. I think I go to California. Would you like to come along? I dreamed to go to California, and now comes through my dream. When we go? We? Go just you all get me. And leave Lube and me behind? We must go. How, how can Lube become a moving picture star if she does not go to Hollywood? It's impossible. Well, since we are in New York, we start from here. You are part of the we she's talking about? Of course. When I was captain of Abkhazia, I sailed every one of the seven seas in all kinds of weather, and I was never once off the course. And why? Because I'm an expert navigator. I'll take compass with me. California is west. So I look at compass and keep us in right direction. And we take only roads going west. It's very simple if you know how. Tariel, is not necessary. Uncle John and me, we go by bus. Driver can take us. No, more practical idea. To all put money in pot and buy car. Right. When we come to Chicago, I'll find here shortcuts. Saves much time uh, and Wait a minute. Anna, is not possible your idea. Say we buy car, and in it we put Uncle John, you, me, Luba, Tariel, is five. Where goes all suitcase? Where goes all suitcase? They go in Chancho's truck. Chancho goes too? Of course. He just sell box lunch business to Nuri Bay. Anna, must be practical. You cannot just walk from house. You got lease. It's all arranged. Madame Grishiani takes over. Nuri Bay hires your friend for box lunch business and they stay here. Also, I have two more friends who move in. Now I have in California. I suppose you come too. No, I stay. Get too many letters, telegram. It's too much trouble writing everybody, changing address. But when you come to California, I have a second cousin by name Besso. He lives near a place by name Azusa. He has a very big farm there. And here is his address. Good. We he... all go see him. No, we do not all go see him, just Georgi and me. Finish letter. Going everybody is too much trouble. All right, girl. Leave behind, good friends. Leave me to freeze in cold winters. Like when we have big snow. And I'm struggling through snow. 
collapsed to my waist. <laughs> but leave me. After all, who am I? Nothing but good friend who opens doors of her house to you when you are poor and have no place else to go. Also is coming Anna, Luba, Teriel, and Chancho. Why do you meet this crew? They're completely mad and utterly charming. What are they coming for? Well, my guess is that they were all sitting around the living room one rainy day, and Anna remarked that rain depressed her, so Tariel said, let's go to California. Everybody else said, why not? Oh, Helen. I mean it. They're completely unpredictable. You should see the way they whip up a banquet at the slightest provocation. Well, when a man drives 3,000 miles, it's usually to get to some place or, or somebody. You're sure you're not the reason he's coming out? Oh, of course not. See, it's going to And be you're sure there. you're not in love with him? Those green pills are going to your head. Well, what's so funny about it? Well, I don't know, but he's I... He's a man, isn't he? And a very honest, considerate, sweet one. But he somehow doesn't strike one as being, well... And after all, Mother, he's been in this country less than a year. Why, he isn't even a citizen. Well, this may come as a big surprise to you, Florence, but the glands are not controlled by second papers. Listen to this. It's, it's going to be tight fit, but we put all the baggage in Chancho's truck. You look very tired. You want me to drive? No! Stop! What's the matter? An accident. We're going in the wrong direction. It's impossible. Signs say Highway 66. California is west. Compass says north is there, so we're going south. Is because road make turn. But if California is west, why does road go south? Maybe there was a lake or something in the way. There was another road back there that goes straight. It was dirt road. Man say take Highway 66, so I stay on 66. Is big mistake. Should only go on roads going west. That way make shortcuts. Shortcuts, huh? Shortcuts. <laughs> George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson. Taking road that goes west. You and your compass. Dariel, stop! He's only making it worse. The chain truck would pull out if you had chain. Sancho, you go that way. I go this way. Maybe we find help. Then you could not stay on main road. No. 
You've got to take shortcuts. So we end up in the middle of boiling desert. Ah! <laughs> you take away that thing. You think it's funny, huh? Well, you wait, you... This is what is going to happen to all of us. We'll all die here from starving, and when they find us, we'll be just like that. Skeletons. Skeletons. And why? Because you've got to steer car like a boat. Ah! Oh. Ah! You must treat them with great respect. They are first citizens of the USA. They have captured Georgi, and they are coming now to kill us by taking the skin from our heads. Oh, Mama, stop it. Don't be afraid, Anna. Don't be afraid. I will not let them touch you. I have a knife. Before I die, I kill you and Cuba. And I was captain of the party. Of the mutiny. I had the knife. Shut up, Shut up, Shut up, Shut up, Look, sign. It's Pastor only 12 Gina, miles away. Look at big sign. Azusa, Taria, look. Azusa? This place where Beso, Ilika's cousin, lives. Oh. Since we're here, Papa, why don't we go to this place first? Oh, no, we go to Helen first. Oh. Wait a minute. Ilika's cousin is Georgian. He will have banquet and I am hungry. We can eat later. First, we go to Helen. All right, girl. Have your own pleasure. That I am starving is not important. After all, who am I? I am nobody. Just something in the back seat. Something like another suitcase. Something that has no feeling. No stomachs. You are right to be paid no attention. Azusa. Because after all, who am I? I am a robber. house. I once acted in play that had houses just like this. Some very nice people, I am one of them, are coming to house and are going in, but are never coming out. What happens to them? They're all dead from being murdered. Looks like there's nobody home. In such a house like this, if anybody is home, he shouldn't be. And what is this thing? Come ah! the Batano. Maybe it was ghost. Miss Minecaro, Vincent Sugangas Gizia. Mama Mizida, Baba Mizid Gizia be Arian. May Armin Ayeti Carpelis Kelis and Mosplats. What'd you say? I'm not talking to him. I'm talking to Dor. I'm saying, listen, Dor. Whoever is standing behind you is crazy, and his father was crazy, and his grandfather was crazy, and I am not going to his funeral. Kaki Marjus. If you excuse me, please come in to my house. No, you go first. I take it back about your father and your grandfather, but I still think you are crazy. Why do you, a Georgian, keep people out of the house? I don't want to know nobody. I want everybody to go away, leave me alone. I'm miser. Then why do you let us in at all? When I hear your voice, I split in half. I don't know what to do. Turn away my countrymen, let you go, and say ever after, I knocked the door of Beso, but door stayed closed against me. I would have no face left, so I'll let you in. Uh, please, uh, come in. Oh, I suppose explanation is you was Georgian first, before you started being miser. I suppose. Uh, please sit down on broken chairs. And my name is Georgi Papashvili. And this is Uncle John, and over there is Chancho. And uh, this is Anna Gogice, and Luba Gogice, and Pariel Gogice. Did you ever take a trip on ship by name Abkhazia? Oh, it sit down. 
We are sent to you by your cousin, Ilika. Oh, Ilika must be a very nice man. He writes me you are coming. He writes me many letters and tells me what George Yang is leaving where. But I do not answer because writing paper is costing money. You are the first Georgian I ever met who do not like company. Most times we are too much the other way. If I am acquainted with people, they borrow from me. So I make rule, don't see people. You want we should go? No, 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 no. As long as you are here, might as well stay. Why you want to be miser? Are you having pleasure from being? <laughs> How can one have pleasure in a house like this? Then why you let house get like this? And trees, why you let weeds choke them up? Land is not good. If I had such farm... You like to buy? Where I get such money? I lend it to you. I always hope to find buyer. But since I do not like to meet people, I never have chance to sell. Why do you want to sell? One day I find newspaper on the road. Somebody throw from car, and I read, in state of Nevada, there is places where is nobody for 50 miles want to go and live right in the middle of such 50 miles. How much you want for this farm? What does it matter if I'm lending you the money? Well, I want to know. Well, we'll talk later. Uh, now I take you to your rooms. Ladies. <laughs> 